After weighing the alternatives, my family and I concluded that we would like the privilege of serving the people of Dallas County in Congress. It is there that decisions will be made that are so vital to our area and that will dramatically determine the future course of our nation. An honorable peace in Vietnam with the prompt return of the POWs, the maintenance of a strong national defense, local control of our schools, and a stabilization of an inflationary economy. I want to be a part of these decisions. There's something more to being a congressman than just You're 20 years old. Do you think that will help you or hurt you? Well, I think it'll help me. I feel that it definitely, my age is an advantage to my position right now. I'm running for school board to bring community unity in Arlington, and I feel that definitely it's an advantage that now since the younger generation has the right to vote, that they should have the right for representation on the school board. It means that we'll get a greater percentage of uh, uh, potential hijacking. Or if the potential hijacker knows that he's going to be screened, uh, I, I think he will just uh, retreat from uh, from that gate that has the magnetometer. Now, since the FAA wants all gates to have magnetometers, uh, it's going to be a great deterrent. It's always, of course, a great strain on the captain of an aircraft knowing that he might be hijacked. And the requirement must take a lot of that strain off. Oh, it certainly does. Uh, we, uh, we take a flight and wonder if today the day I'm going to be hijacked. Do you think it'll make for better flying? It'll make for uh, safer flying for the pilot as well as the flying public. We think it's real serious. You see, just in our state alone, in, in a year's time, you'll have the 40 or 50,000 automobiles stolen. And with the, the price of automobiles today, this, of course, involves a, a tremendous amount of, of money. What do law enforcement officers need? The one thing that could help them stop this? Well, when we're working with, uh, with organized crime in any respect, I think that information is, is a must if you're going to do a very efficient job. And one of the best ways uh, that, that we can get help now to get better information and accurate information, and this would be particularly true on, on such activities as bookmaking and gambling, would be electronic surveillance statutes. Now, we in law enforcement would not uh, ask the legislature to, to provide uh, just a uh, um, an open policy to where anybody could tap anybody's line or call. It would have to be on probable, based on probable cause with the approval of a district attorney and a district judge. Well, I don't think so. I, you know, I think that uh, you always get excited at draft time, and, and then you have a letdown in July when some of them come to training camp. Uh, about two years from now, you can always uh, you can look back and find out how good a draft it was uh, by how many people are playing on your team and if you're winning with those people. A gentleman from Overseas Motor, Mr. Jim uh, Fraser, has came through first. So uh, we hope that we have other citizens who want to come in and give us a little help out on this program. What do you think the hopes are of? Uh, getting a championship fighter in any category any uh, category in the Golden Gloves tournament. Jim, it looked real good. We got uh, one young man came in to me today. He's uh, 16 years old and he had about nine fights and, and he showed promising to become a champion. Of course, this gives the, uh, the boys an opportunity to work off a lot of excess energy too, doesn't it? It sure does, Jim. Uh, these boys, these boys that come down to to work with us, uh, they're really energetic and they want to work real hard, but after we work with them, as you can see, uh, what's going on now, when they leave the gym, they're dead tired. I 
Yeah. Miss Steinem and your article on sisterhood. Thank you, Gloria. Okay, because the titles are kind of, you know, we only we only need MS so that we, when we have to indicate a female, you know, we don't have to say married or unmarried. Right. Gloria, in your article on sisterhood, you refer to Uncle Tomism in, in women. Could you define what an Uncle Tom is? Sure, it's somebody who shuffles and giggles and says, how clever of you to know what time it is, and, uh, you know, <laughs> pretends, uh, you know, it's, it's very challenging for a woman to admit she's smart in the society and to admit she has ambition. Well, hello, Elwood. How are you on this very special day of yours? Are you aware of the Cannonball Rental Company's fifth annual coloring contest dedicated just to you, Elwood? And now the big question of the day, Elwood, what is your weather forecast for the next six weeks? Well, thank you, Elwood. We appreciate your time today. You see there, Jack Van Roy? Your job's done for the next four weeks. Jerry Park. Channel 8 News on the move, along with Elwood at the Marcella Zoo. Rather than continue the speculation, let me state at this time that I am a candidate for Congress in the new 3rd Congressional District. Does the difference in your ages make you feel like a very old man? I felt like a very young man until I found out a 20-year-old had filed against me. Uh, there is about 20 years difference there. Uh, and uh, I would have, uh, if elected, I'd be the youngest man on the school board. Uh, but with uh, Jerry filing, it makes me feel and makes me seem like maybe I am the old establishment candidate <laughs> and running against you. Uh, but, of course, this is really not uh, true, and, and uh, uh, I know that uh, Jerry probably will receive uh, some support from uh, some of the young voters.
The lines to get the plates were relatively short at the beginning of business today. The stage got a little more colorful than they have in the past. This year, the plates will feature green letters and numerals on a white background. Officials of the tax assessor collector's office told me that more and more people are buying the personalized lines. Thousand sets of the plates have been ordered. The message thereon run from initials and company names to the funny. From a labor standpoint, workers must process an average of about 15,000 applications a day between now and the deadline date of midnight April 1st. That in itself should be good enough reason to buy early and avoid the last minute rush. Jerry Park, Channel 8 News, on the move at the Records Building. The lines to get the plates were relatively short at the beginning of business today. The state got a little more colorful than they have in the past. This year, the plates will feature green letters and numerals on a white background. Officials of the tax assessor collector's office 
told me that more and more people are buying the personalized license plates, however. This year, some 7,000 sets of the plates have been ordered. The message thereon run from initials and company names to the funnies. From a labor standpoint, workers must process an average of about 15,000 applications a day between now and the deadline date of midnight April 1st. That in itself should be good enough reason to buy early and avoid the last minute rush. Jerry Park, Channel 8 News, on the move at the Records Building. I'll put it this way. It is a movie in which there might be some language. Uh, some violence, some hint of sensuality uh, that puts it in between what we call a family picture and a restricted picture. A PG picture is one in which the parent ought to make inquiry before he lets his pre-teenage children see it. At this time, if the court decision stands, we, uh, we'll have to make some 68 precinct changes. And of course, every time you make a change, it then could make a change in one of these congressional districts or the state senate line. Or it could make a difference uh, as, as far as the precinct goes. Or these lines are constant. But each one of these changes will have to then be refigured so that they do conform to these uh, state senate lines, the congressional lines, and the uh, commissioner lines, and the JP lines. So that'd just be one more thing that we'll have to then take into consideration and refigure each 300 precincts so that they will conform to all the rules and the statutes and all the things that make up an election. What actually is involved in refiguring all these lines and making out a new ballot? Well, we take each individual precinct and we see where it comes on the map and we then uh, number the congressional district that it falls in, then we number the state uh, senatorial district it falls in, we will add the legislative district now that it will fall in, then we'll check the commissioner's precinct and we'll add the justice of peace or it's in Constable. So that'll make five different things that we'll have to be sure that does conform and be sure that each candidate, of course, gets his name on the ballot and that he is allowed, uh, he is uh, on the ballot so that the voter can then either vote for or against the candidate of his choice. People are upset. They feel like that their right to vote is being taken away by our city council. And uh, one thing that they, almost everyone commented on, is come election time, this city council is going to find out that the people do have a right to vote. We secured enough signatures that it can elect or defeat any member of the city council. What this means, I presume, is that the administration in Austin and the Secretary of State will have to find some unexpended state funds that they can borrow until the next regu next special session of the legislature, which could then be reappropriated for that agency that they have to use it from. This is just a guess on my part. That has happened in emergency situations in the past. If that happens, will it be a good thing or a bad thing, in your opinion? Well, I think it would be a good thing. Uh, at least it'll get us through this primary and let the legislature in regular session next time uh, go through and revise the election code and take care of the constitutional questions. I recognize that my entry into this race will mark a new experience for the Republican Party in Dallas County, a truly contested congressional primary. I would hope that our party has come of age so that the only issue will be, who is the best Republican to serve us in Congress?
I imagine they'll be done just like we've done in any other school and over the years because we've had problems in school and uh, they're incidental in many cases and so we try to solve them on a routine basis. We hopefully uh, don't look at a racial situation because uh, that doesn't exist as far as I'm concerned and as far as our students are concerned. We feel that they uh, relate quite well. qualities that are supposed to be great in the ruling class are, are uh, punished. Do you think the sexual revolution is just one more male ego trick? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's an article in this issue mm -hmm. about that by Anselma Delolio called The Sexual Revolution Wasn't Our War. <laughs> uh, and it, it points out that it really uh, was designed to make more women available to more men without any attention to uh, women's wants, needs, pleasures anatomy, nothing, you know, so the, in, in many ways women's liberation and, and the sexual revolution as we have known it are antithetical.